everybody welcome or welcome back to letter crossing today we are doing a speed build in which i decorate the outside of tad's home finally i think he was a third villager i got on this island and i did decorate his home before but it was before he had 2.0 items i'm pretty sure so yeah let's get into building his house because he deserves it he's a king and uh, i love him <laughs> So I bought a bunch of turnips because it is Sunday morning when I started recording this. Um, and I'm going to use those to eat, to get energy, to pick up trees, break rocks, all that good stuff. And yeah, so first I'm going to start by clearing up this spot on this part of the island. I'm basically going to be decorating this whole blank spot. I'm going to run around it to show you what I mean. but. Yeah, I'm just moving stuff around. Here is all my extra DIYs for anyone who visits. And we gotta start up the Island Designer app, of course. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I did after clearing up that spot was I started adding more of the dirt path from the entrance build I did a, a while ago. I'm not sure how long ago that was. Um, but I wanted to connect that so it didn't just like abruptly stop and I also want to terraform over here because it's literally so empty if you look at my map um, I basically just flattened out the parts I haven't been building on so we're gonna add some dimension to this side I edited out a lot of the terraforming while still showing you what I was doing because it would have added a lot more time to this video and you still get the gist of what I was doing. And also, why can't I place trees by that curve? I don't understand. But um, anyway, I'm placing down these custom designs to kind of show myself where I want a path to be. So I'm going to be putting furniture around that until I decide what type of path I want here, if that makes sense. And I'm going to be putting a bunch of trees around. I want it to be a little forest area and almost like I want to use hardwood trees and the evergreen trees because I want the hardwood trees to be changing colors with all the seasons. I don't have a lot of those around the island except right here where I put all the ones that basically were on the island when I started it. And I put that volcano there because it's mossy and I I want to make it look like a mountain and not a volcano so I have to figure out what type of thing to put in front of it but that item is so cool like you can make it any type of season winter even like just a dirt pile that shoots rocks from itself <laughs> oh my gosh all my villagers are already starting to crowd me a little bit it's fine Right, just making this area flow a little bit better into the spot I'm doing and now I'm going to go ask Tom for uh, an incline and also to move Eric's house actually I know I said this is Tad's build but I actually move Eric's house first but um, we'll get into that later <laughs> They have their little costumes on. <laughs> Should probably put an incline right there. I climb up and down those vines a lot. So basically I wanted to put Eric's house here originally was the plan. Um, Cause I wanted him to be like in the middle of the woods surrounded by trees and you kind of just find him while you're walking while you first get on the island. Um, but then I noticed that Tad's house also has log features and I was like, oh, that's really cute too. So I wanted to put it next to Eric's house, but then I ended up putting it on these cliffs that I'm building right now because I wanted him to have a water feature because, you know, he's a frog. Thank you. 
the map is already improving we love to see it um and then i saw that i was pretty close to the river mouth so i decided i would just um, start adding a river right there so it doesn't just end right at the river i usually get rid of the I'm gonna say river again. I get rid of the rivers at the beginning of the game when I get terraforming unlocked because I don't like um, having to use the vaulting pole. I like, I literally don't carry it around with me anymore because I just, I can't, I can't. But, um, <laughs> but I usually only build water when I know I'm gonna put a bridge there so I don't have to carry things around and Tingy scared me here for a second, but then she just gave me a jester costume, so I was like, okay, I guess I'll wear it for a tiny bit. Um, it's kind of funny. <laughs> I time traveled to the next day so that the incline would be built and that Eric's house would be done so I can put Tad's house down today. Just gonna move that tree, connect these paths. I'm using that trick with the custom designs where you make it look like it's outlining the dirt path. And I was debating putting down the stone path, but I changed my mind, so I'll figure out a path later for that. But I went to grab Tad and also a bridge for that river mouth. Does anyone else have the worst trouble with placing bridges down? Like I can get an incline down, it makes so much sense to me, but the rivers confuse me so much. Like I struggle a lot on this video trying to put <laughs> the bridges down because I end up putting a second bridge in, but I think I edited a bunch of it out because it was like an embarrassingly long amount of time I was trying to just put a bridge down. Like, why can't I put it that close to the river mouth? I don't understand. Good old suspension bridge, paid that off, and now I'm going to be building some inclines so I can make a little waterfall feature right there. Alright, so we got Eric's house over here. I'm just going to bring this cliff out so I can put some trees behind his house to add dimension there. And I know I just put that tree down, but I'm gonna pick it up because I want to put the cliffs even farther out than I thought I did. I love Eric's house. It's like, it's perfect. I love the log cabin look in this game. Um, but yeah, just gonna add some trees. Go to the campsite. Oh, so good. I love building campsites in this game. Again, why can't I put the tree there? Alright, I'm just gonna steal this tree from Eric and then um, put it in front of him and kind of scare him a little bit, I think. I don't mean to. Uh, let's see, he's like, wait, where did that come from? Um, but yeah. Just adding trees kind of randomly around, um, but if I don't like how they look, I move them. And this is where I wanted Tad to be originally, but I was like, you know what? I'm actually going to put him by this waterfall thing that I'm doing. Give him some bamboo trees as well. I think the only thing I like doing in waterscaping is making waterfalls like all you have to do is place them at the edge of the cliffs and then just connect all the ones you did so it's pretty easy I mean 
unless you're trying to connect another waterfall on top of that then it can get a little confusing but yeah it can be fun at times it does kind of look weird with the little triangle shapes but if you put an item on there like a bush it can look really cute I did not mean to close that waterfall off, but I don't remember if I end up putting it back, actually. That's funny. Alright, I need some more room for Tad's house, so we're just doing that really quick. Here I'm doing that trick where you put something in the cliffs and then close it off and I started with these street lamps but they, they're really random right there so I don't leave them there um, but I do like how they look like that I think you can if you have like a city core island it might look cool so I decided to put the festival balloon there instead um, I think the festival is late February um, if you haven't been able to play that yet um, those items are so good I don't like the event that much but all the items are good like every single one the only one I don't use is the floor with the feathers that you can walk over, but if you have guests over for like a little get together with your friends, it's a really good item to put by your entrance. I've seen a lot. Alright, I wish I put Tad's house actually a little bit farther back or waited to put the other bridge down but it's we end up making it work yeah look how good it looks i love his little green door all right i'm gonna skip all the trouble but you can see i i had to get rid of the waterfall and everything um but we've decided to go with a zen bridge i haven't used that one yet because it's the most expensive one but i had enough bells for it so i decided why not it matches with the wood and then look i was so surprised i actually got the golden slingshot i thought i had this already but i guess i just had it on my last island um but yeah very exciting now i can make a golden slingshot it won't pop as much look a little celebration right there but yeah we're just gonna add back the waterfalls Oh, and from this balloon I got an inflatable bird ring which looked like a peacock which is funny because I was just talking about the festival so I decided to put that down there and then later I go in my inventory and I didn't realize I already had two of those and they're both different so I also end up putting those by the water but they might just be placeholders they kind of look out of place right there so Just adding another tiny waterfall above the other one so that it's two tiered and has a little bit more dimension. Um, I think it's really important to add cliffs if you want to have more interest in your builds. Honestly, I'd be watching these dream ad address videos and I don't even think I'm playing the same game as some of you guys, but you know, I just, I just try where I can and I also, I just saw this trick in a video, I forget which one, but they put a pergola, pergola behind a cliff and it looked like a bush and I was like, what item is that? It looks so familiar. It's literally just a pergola, like, behind a cliff. I was, like, stunned. It looks so good. I don't even, mine doesn't even look as good as that one. I don't know how they made it look so good. I would have to go back and find the video and, like, examine it, but yeah, that was a really good trick. 
Right, I fast forwarded to the next day and I got out my wand so I could put on my little rain outfit because it's raining and I left it raining because it was actually raining a tiny bit today. And I actually changed it so I would have a little backpack on. I have the little flick one because I thought that would be the only one that wouldn't get wet because it's plastic. And I put my glasses on because my character looked weird without them. All right, we're just adding that beautiful daisy path. Um, all the codes I use will be linked in the description below if you want to use them. Um, this is my favorite path uh, probably of all time. It's so good. There's also different shades of green in that creator code if you want like a, I don't remember if it was darker. I think it was darker. Um, and they might even have more now. I haven't looked in a while. But yeah, super impressive. Has so many pieces to it and it can be very dynamic. And of course we had to use the plain party lights that item is top tier thank you 2.0 i love you um and then i'm using these wheat fields to cover up that little balloon right there and i had some froggy chairs so i had to get those out for tad i end up not using the pink one and also i have two yellow ones here but i go to reese and have him turn it into a green one one of the yellow ones And I'm putting these Kurobi lanterns everywhere. I love that they have the little green pad under them. It almost looks like moss, which is perfect for this island. And yeah, it's gonna look really cool at night because I'm pretty sure the stream address is gonna be more in the evening, so all the lights should be lighting up. And I changed out that pergola back for the one with the orange flowers. I thought that looked a little bit better. Honestly, I might see what other colors they have because I don't love how it has really dark wood because it doesn't match the wood tones around and I collected a bunch of frog models so I decided just to use those over here because he's the only frog I have like I made a little circle with the path right there <laughs> I don't know if that looks weird or cool but I'm gonna leave it Right, and I was trying to use this Kropi hallway as like a little, almost like a train waiting station, which made me think of that retro transportation thing. So I end up putting that um, on the ground, right? I'll just right here, see, <laughs> and putting the hallway right there instead. And that way I can put more than one there. Oh my gosh, I never use that item, I should use it more. But I do have to order another one of the transportation things. Look at all the colors I got. I um, I don't know if you can get the damaged ones unless you go to Reese. But I like how that one looks. It's kind of like it's been there for a long time. <laughs> frog umbrella. Um, When I had Frobert, I gave him the frog umbrella and he said, um, I can't use this. Like thanks i guess and he put it on display in his house which is cute um yeah frabber is uh, he's one of my favorite frogs in this game so cute and yeah see i got the green froggy chair don't worry and now it is the next day because i needed to get all those things from the nook shopping app from my mailbox and look it looks so cute right there i love the little fairy tale umbrella like someone was waiting and they left their umbrella Meanwhile, Tad's doing laps around the island. No big deal. Gotta add some puddles around the water, of course. <laughs> Tad has the zoomies. I don't even know if I noticed him running around. That's so cute. Also, someone sent me a yellow mum bag in the mail. I don't 
don't remember who it was, but I didn't even... I don't think I've gotten flower bags in the mail before. Or not that I remember. Yeah, here, see, I'm putting the inflatable birds around. They're kind of cute. Usually I put the ducks around rivers, but since I have three of these, I thought, why not? This one's like a swan, it's so cute. I really like how that mushroom looks, but I end up putting a different item there. Yep, this glowing moss pond. Look how magical that is. I need to put more around the island since it's called Mosswood. I almost forgot to use the gyroids around this build, um, but I remembered, and look at this little talk light, it's so cute, it's like a grayscale one, I haven't seen that one before, I love it. And I swap out this fence for the log fence. I'm so glad they listened to us about giving us that fence. It's such a good one. The one from Harv's Island. And I had one Kuropi snack, so I put that down. Like, it's kind of like an imposter of the frog models. It's kind of funny. <laughs> and here I'm going to be putting the beach ball that looks like a watermelon because in the first build that I did of Tad's house, I gave him a watermelon farm because it matched his green door and it looked really cute actually. I could have left it, but then we got the actual farm items and I thought it kind of looked out of place then. So I'm just going to put on his table as a little homage for that build. <laughs> And we have to put wheat fields everywhere. Is it a build without wheat fields? No. <laughs> and I conveniently had a little bamboo that I think was actually at uh, his house before. So I just put the little one right there, the stunted one, and I'm gonna put two more around here. I just feel like he would like bamboo items for some reason. Putting some glowing moss around. Trapped myself after putting the bamboo there, so I'm just gonna build the cliff out a little bit. Put some decayed trees up here. I almost forgot to put custom designs down, it would have looked so funny. Like, just like empty compared to the rest of the build, I mean. Look at the mossy decayed trees. <gasps> I didn't notice Callie was sitting on that stump. Oh my gosh. Got that grasshopper from Flick yesterday. It's kind of bigger than I thought it would be, so I don't know, it kind of looks creepy actually.
All right, we're getting pretty close to the end of the build. If you've watched this far, make sure to hit like and subscribe if you would like to. Um, I really appreciate you watching this far, so thank you. Um, now I'm going to be doing a little tour of it, and here's the map. You can see we did a lot because <laughs> those bottom blocks were basically empty. So I'm really proud of how it came out. We will definitely finish Eric's house another day, but I accidentally focused on Tad for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, look at Eric's house. He's home right now, so cute. And let me know what kind of path I should put here. I am torn between like a dirt path or a custom design path. I don't know. I don't know, it would look good. Then we connected the dirt path by the entrance. I think that looks really good. I still have to finish it a little bit. We added this log bridge. I always call it a bridge, log incline. And that part's a little bit empty, but um, I'll add some more details later. But this is the main part of the build was just around Tad's house. I love this Zen bridge. I might use them a little bit more now. It looks so good. <laughs> got all the frog items everywhere bamboo he's got a picture of frobber because that's the first um picture i got from a villager and got the cool blah, blah, blah. we have the cool balloon out of the ground that was the only color i had i should probably change it to green and he has a little overlook which i might end up putting a incline right there as well here we got the little kuropi hallways and then the waterfall from the river mouth. I, oh my gosh. I love how this turned out. I can't wait to get more items and add more right here. But yeah, it looks really cool. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this build as much as I did. Um, let me know your ideas for Eric's little path in the woods. And... Yeah, I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy end of October. Oh my gosh, how is the year almost over? I have no clue. Um, and yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye!